Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video we will go through and review some of the best name your price plugins for WooCommerce. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Okay, so let's start with the first plugin. WooCommerce name your price. You can get it for $49 from the official developer or from us for only $4.99. It's the exact same plugin uh, for only $4.99. Alternatively, if you have our plugin manager installed on your WordPress website, just look for name your price and you will see the three options over here. You can install them all, but let's start with the first one with name your price by WooCommerce. So after installing it on your website, let's activate it. And once you activated it, you can access the settings screen of this plugin by going to WooCommerce settings. And here you will see that the name your price tab was added and you can click on it and see all the options regarding this plugin. And here you can change the messages that appears on the product page. And let me show you what I mean by that. So first let's open one of the products. We'll click on edit on one of them, for example, this water bowl. And here we can see that the name your price checkbox was added. And when you selected it, you can enter suggested price, minimum price, and maximum price. They are all optional. You don't have to enter, but you can. So for example, the minimum price will be $5 and the maximum will be $40. I will update the page and let's visit the page. And we can see that here are all the conditions we set, the suggested price and the minimum price. Now let's enter a number below the minimum price and we'll get this feedback. We need to enter at least $5, which is the minimum. So the plugin is working as expected. Now, after we'll enter the right amount, we can add it to the cart and then we'll uh, be in charge for the price we entered, which is great. So let's visit the cart and we can see that the price is right and everything is working great. So let me show you how to change the messages that you see. For example, right now it's saying name your price, but from the plugin settings screen, you can change it to whatever you want. So for example, we will look for this a text and we can replace it with how much would you like to pay or something like that right and once you save the changes you can refresh the product page and you will see that uh, the new text appears instead of the old one so let's refresh it and you will see the new text over here all right and the next plugin that i would like to show you is woocommerce name your price by yeet you can get it from the official website for $55 or from us for only $4.99. Now it's very similar to the other plugin we just used, um, but have some of advantages and I will show you. So first of all, after you activated it on your website, just edit one of your products pages. And just like the other one, you will need to uh, select this name your price box. And once you selected it, you will have the option to enter suggested price, minimum and maximum prices. So let's start by entering the suggested price. Again, it's optional, you don't have to, but just for the example, this hoodie will be 50, minimum 20 and maximum 75. And once you did, just update the new prices, just like so. And we can visit the page to see what it looks like. And we can see that it looks pretty good, very similar to the other one. Right now it's also showing you the maximum price, which is nice. And another great advantage is that you can also edit and customize the label messages. So for example, let's enter a number that is below the minimum and we'll get this message saying that we need to enter a larger or higher number. We can definitely customize that message. So let's go to it, name your price. And here we can adjust the store label and also the message labels. So for example, if we would like to change the default minimum price message, we can delete the text from here and enter our own custom text, something like, uh, please, please increase your offer. Once you did, save the changes and revisit the product page. And right now let's offer another low offer 
we'll test it and we can see the new message instead of the old one. And another great advantage of this plugin is the option to add a rule based on category. So let's go back to the settings page of this plugin and navigate into the active rules. And here we can add new rule. So for example, if we'd like to set an annual price option based on category, we can search over here for the category that we'd like to set the functionality for. For example, clothing. And here we will enable the rule. And we can enter suggested price, minimum price, and maximum price. And that will take effect for all the products under this category and will initially save you a lot of time. So once you add a rule, just click on add rule and click leave. And now all the products inside the clothing category will have this rule. So let's check the products list. And we can see that all the products of clothing will have the suggested price, minimum and maximum as you can see over here. So that will save you a lot of time. All right, and the last plugin is WooCommerce Name Your Price or Product Open Pricing. You can get it for $21 from the official website or from us for $4.99. Once you activated it on your website, just enter one of your products pages and just enable this box once again. And now navigate into the Motif tab on the left. And here you can enter suggested price, minimum and maximum. All the plugins, as you can see, are very similar with only minor changes between them. So first of all, let's test this plugin. Let's visit the product page and see what it looks like. And again, also very similar to the other ones. Now, if you'd like to edit any of the messages of this plugin, you can access the screen from here. Motif name your price from the sidebar. And here you can change the general label settings or the message label settings. Uh, if you'd like to hide the minimum and maximum prices, just toggle this option over here to off. And once you save the changes, you'll see that the minimum and maximum prices that you can see here will no longer appear after you refresh the page, as you can see. And now you can definitely suggest your price and check out with your suggested price. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process or any of the plugins by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I'll see you all in the next video.